Welcome back to The Homework Guy with this reaction on a breaking news story, which actually involves General RV and a Fox 13 investigation. We're going to share the video with you in just a moment. But the reason that we wanted to bring this out with you today, actually tomorrow's show covers something quite similar, how dealers can play games on contracts. Well, we're not asserting what may or may not have happened in this particular story, but we want you to pay attention to it because the elements that happen there could easily happen to you. Check it out. I told him, I said, I will have Adam at Fox News investigate, take this story and run with it because I'm sure I'm not the only one. No smudge here and a smudge there. This is not right the way they've done this paperwork. Smudges on the contract are never a good thing, are nope. they? The, the thing is, is that a dealer can make mistakes, but smudges on your contract should always be a red flag. Always take a look when something looks like it's either been altered or changed or anything. They very well could have been deceived. We have a follow-up to a Fox 13 News investigation from two weeks ago. More customers have come forward with contradictory paperwork from General RV. Uh -oh. Bob, each of the contracts come with a huge balloon payment that the customer did not expect. Fox 13's Adam Herbitz broke the story and joins us again tonight. Adam. Yeah, Bob Kelly, if it was only one smudge, that could have been theoretically a mistake. But now we are finding a pattern. And because of our story, the Motor Vehicle Enforcement Division has confirmed it is investigating General RV for potential fraud. This is now, real quickly, I want to pause here because we've had situations in the past that have involved car dealers where there's been a pattern. So when you talk about a mistake that occurs, that's one thing, a single mistake, isolated mistake. But whenever there's a pattern, there's always some indication of some sort of uh, shysterness or un underhanded activity going on here. So we're not trying to jump out ahead of this investigation, but this isn't looking good. The copy that I got, I signed it here and here and here. My wife signed it there. I signed it here and signed it there. I signed it here and signed it there. And down here, General RV is blank. This man's. Uh oh, did you hear what he just said? No signature from the authorized agent of the RV dealer. Right, homework guy viewers, you should never drive any vehicle of any kind away from a dealership without their signature on the paperwork. So make sure you look over it from top to bottom. Make sure all the math adds up. Make sure there's no smudges on your contracts. And most definitely, make sure you got a signature from the authorized agent from the car dealership says he wishes a few missing signatures were the oh, only yeah. thing wrong with the General RV oh, contract for his 2015 Tiffin Allegro. Well, I would watch Fox 13 News the other day that you had on TV with a, a young lady that had a smudge on her numbers. So I looked at mine and I got the same thing. Shrewd move right there, you guys. Anybody who might be seeing this story today, if you had a contract with General RV, make sure you pull your paperwork out, take a look at it. I'd also encourage any other banks or credit unions that might have financed loans with these guys as well. If you've done something with General RV, you need to take a look at it. Kind of looks like a pattern of a problem here. You can definitely see that that's been tampered with. We first introduced you to Lisa Pueblo from Farmington two weeks ago when she showed us discrepancies with her General RV paperwork. She says the dealership convinced her to agree to a 20-year loan, but was surprised years later when she saw the number 119 typed. So the significance of this right here is the customer signed out on loan terms, which were 240 months. This is an RV, you guys. So that's yeah, why yeah. 20 years uh, is a long time on really anything. I wouldn't sign a 20 year loan even on an RV. But anyway, 240 months is a long time. Well, the they got the contract with this smudged 119. They basically cut it into 10 years minus one month. On the same line as 240, cutting the length of her loan in half and setting her up with a $63,000 balloon payment due in 2025. Ouch. I would have walked away. There is no way I can come up with $63,000. It says 240 months. Everything on here says 240 months. I don't know how they've done it, but everything on everything says 240 other than where it's been typed over that 119. No smudge here and a smudge there. It looks like the 119 was stamped on top of it. Roger Barnes from Midvale is a different customer with the same type of smudge on his contract. He's facing a more expensive balloon payment, $83,000.
Do you think this wow. could be happening wow. to more people? I think so. I really do. If they've done it to me and to her, who else knows? We've been stressed as to what and how we were going to deal with that here in the next year and a half. Jamie Preciado in Colorado also has the same smudge and a $105,000 balloon payment coming up in 2023. This is not right the way they've done this paperwork. How they've done this, I have no idea. And then there's the Beer Guard family in Tooele. They showed us their carbon copy, 240 on the same line as 119. This keeps getting plus worse. Plus a surprise $73,000 balloon payment. To me, it's one of the most crookedest things that we've ever got into. Once they found out, they were fortunate enough to have enough money to pay off the loan in full. It is an ongoing investigation, obviously, and we wouldn't have had this investigation if that, without you bringing it forward. Alan Shinney, director of Utah's Motor Vehicle Enforcement Division, has opened a fraud investigation into General RV. I watched your initial story, and to be frank with you, I thoroughly appreciated the story because that's really what it is about. I, I was The first thing I did when I got into the office the next morning is, is I wanted some answers. In your 20 plus years of doing this, have you ever seen seen a case like this with multiple smudges on multiple contracts? Never seen that before. I mean, it's one thing to say, look, you have paper jams. Everyone's got paper jams. Everyone's got carbon problems, but not identical across the board to different transactions. I have never seen that before. Can you even find We got a whoopsie daisy smudge they problem. They very well could yeah. have been deceived. It's sure looking that way. I just don't think it's right because they're taking advantage of the people. The smudge is not the only thing these customers have in common. Each of them bought from the General RV location in Draper between 2013 and 2015. Sounds like a lot of customers, one location. Right, and it's, you know, it's almost 10 years ago, so all these 20-year contracts going down to 10, now they're starting to look at their contract and realize they have this balloon payment out there. But by the way, balloon payments aren't illegal, but you just have to agree that you want to pay one or that's how you want your loan structured. They have to be agreed on upfront. Yes. And the way you make sure that there's no problem with that whatsoever is all the math has to add up. So when the math doesn't add up and there's not a mutual agreement between the customer and the seller, there's a problem. None of them say they knew about a balloon payment until years later when they learned the dealership sent cleaned up copies of their contracts to their respective credit unions. The credit union's paper shows a cleaned up copy. This sounds like a cleaned up copy to the advantage of the dealer, doesn't it? It sure does. And they send it to the credit union, but not to the person. That's interesting. Yeah. 119. I mean, there's two different papers here. If this is what they showed me, I would have never done it. And most importantly, none of these customers' paperwork show math that adds up to a 10-year loan. When you sign this contract, were you all... That's the other big problem right there. The math does not add up. I think General RV's got a big problem here. I think so. So looking at these numbers up here? Yes, because when it reflects to the payment. I think most people are. That right there is really shrewd. That's the 240 months at the 852, and you can see the math does add up. Mm-hmm. Not on the revised contract. Aren't concerned with the trying to double check. I should the say math, the cleaned you know, up like contract. Done. Mountain America Credit Union said it could not comment on the specifics of individual cases, but Fox 13 has spoken to multiple experts in the auto industry, all of whom say the faulty math on these documents is very concerning, even more than the smudge. We 100% agree. And we see car contracts. We don't deal with a lot of RV folks, but we see car contracts all the time. And I can tell you, 100% of the time when the math doesn't add up, if it was just one situation, you'd go, okay, let's look at what the mistake was. But, wow, there's four people in this story already. This, this isn't an isolated situation. And there's a difference between an honest mistake and, you know, the other kind. <laughs> right. Anytime we find anything that we don't think is right, then we're going to we're going to check it out. In each and every case, it is clear that the total payment was calculated with terms that the customers had in mind. 20 years or 240 months. Investigators agree. Clearly, after reviewing what you showed me, it clearly says that. It, it doesn't, that does not make sense. The math still has to add up, right? It does have to add up. We would argue that Bingo. point to the county attorney's office. If they interpret it as fraud, then we would be able to file charges. Almost seems like uh, it was shady intentional. You just can't do things like this. It gives General RV a bad name. We'll never buy anything from them again. We won't.
we won't even look at them. General RV's got their money already. That's that's the sad part about it. They've already got their money because they've already financed it. And how big was his balloon payment? Eighty-three thousand. And how does he think he's going to come up with eighty-three thousand dollars? He's on a fixed income. He's on Social Security. That, that's catastrophic. It was between 2013 and 2015. Mm -hmm. So it was either, you know, a, an employee in the finance office or the manager or the owner himself that was, you know, pushing the button to make this happen. I, I can't think of any good reason to do this, people. But they just recently sent cleaned up copies out to the credit unions that these customers had their loans through. So it's uh, it, it smacks of somebody running into some kind of a cash flow problem now and wanting, you know, these, these lump sum payments coming in like over the uh, near term. That, that's what it kind of smacks to me. And then, so the other alarm, and this is what I'd share with the investigators, is the fact that the customer has a contract, his initial contract that doesn't bear the signature of an authorized agent of the dealer, suggests to me that somebody knew this was coming. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it almost looks like uh, it was a planned problem here. And, and the fact that it exists on several different contracts, it's the same kind of smudge, same kind of problem. Uh, I think General RV has a lot of explaining to do. I understand that they have uh, sent an email into Fox 13 who did this investigation and said that they've done nothing wrong. Well, explain these smudges and then explain a missing signature on the one gentleman's contract and perhaps the other ones are missing it as well, but explain the missing signature. When does a dealer ever allow a customer out of their door who's trying to do things above board and fails to sign the contract with the customer? When does that happen? That never happens. And they're sending these paperwork, this paperwork, you know, five to eight years after the people have already signed it. Um, it's one thing to go back in and re-sign a loan because you want different payments or different, you know, different numbers on the on the contract, but this is this this is deception. <laughs> That's what it smacks like to me. All right, Kevin Hunter with Elizabeth. We wanted to give you a reaction to this video here going on with General R V. I'll tell you what, if you're one of these people who are affected like this, we're going to put the link for the website where you should go to file a complaint. It's mved.utah.gov. Make sure you go there and file a complaint. And then, of course, you can also comment in the comment section below this video if this has ever happened to you with any other RV dealers or if you're a car buyer out there and you've had some irregularities on contracts yourself, make sure you comment below. We'd also love to see those in an email. Send them to info at thehomeworkguy.com. The website is showing up here on the screen. Make sure you email us. We'll definitely follow up with you. And we'd love to take a look at these contracts that have concerns like this one. It's never a good thing when uh, these kinds of things happen. And, you know, they say where there's smoke, there's fire. Yes. Looks a little bad here for General RV. Kevin Hunter with Elizabeth on The Homework Guy. We appreciate you guys coming on board with us. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button. And as always... You guys rock. We're out. Yeah!